so welcome back to our channel. We had our encounter with the 27s just in this spot, which is Quendale. We saw them really far in the distance, so we thought we'd bring you back and describe what happened that day. Yeah, it wasn't as windy as it is now that day, so yeah, it's quite windy and cold, but yeah, we'll show you what happened. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Monday and we've had a pretty good day so far. First of all, we saw some dolphins in 8th Vo, and now we're all the, way, all the way down south near Quendale Beach and we've actually got orcas in the distance. They're like really, really far out. Um, it's quite difficult to see them, but we've got a really shaky video. It's quite hazy as well, so it's difficult to see. We're just hoping that they come a bit further in. But yeah, they're all the way out there. <laughs> So after seeing the orca at Quendale quite far out, we thought, well, let's give it a chance. We'll head over to St Ninian's and walk out to the Isle in the hope that they keep traveling this direction and we can catch up with them again. It did look like they were heading north just after we'd seen them out at Quendale. So yeah, we got to where we are now, which is St, St. Ninian's. Ninian's. And it, as you can see, it's <laughs> absolutely stunning. <laughs> How flat that is. So as soon as we got to the beach, we headed straight over to the isle and we thought if they're going to keep heading out and quite offshore, we have a better chance of seeing them off the isle. And if they did come into the beach, into, the, um, into this area, we'd have a good chance of seeing them as well. So we headed straight that direction. Because <laughs> originally they were really far out at Quendale, as you've seen earlier. And we had a feeling that they might stay that far. Yeah. So I was really hoping that they'd come right into this for us <laughs> because that would just it would just give us flashbacks of when we saw the bull yeah and we weren't sure whether we'd rather be down here or up on them little yeah. hills over there but but i think we made the right choice in the end the which right you'll choice. find out about <laughs> So when we got onto the island, it was a bit of a waiting game because we couldn't see them for a little while. But we thought if we positioned ourselves over this side of the aisle, overlooking Colsey, Spiggy in the distance, and this proper like St Ninian's beach, then we'd have a good chance of hopefully seeing them pass by. So we've made our way to St Ninian's Isle in the hope that they pass by. They were quite far out when we saw them just off Quendale. So we're hoping that if they keep coming this direction, we'll be able to meet them on the way and hopefully they come into the beach, which would be amazing. <laughs> Imagine seeing the 27s or a pod like that in that kind of beach would be amazing. So we're really hoping that they come in this mouth here and then best case scenario, they come into Spiggy Bay where we saw the bull orca at the beginning of our trip. But if not, then there's a chance they could head out quite far and we'll have to run over all of that <laughs> <laughs> to try and get to them. <laughs> so we saw them in the distance, just coming behind Colsey over there. And then we saw them in the distance. It looked like they were going to head over to Scooseborough or Spiggy, but luckily they didn't. <laughs> So when they started heading our way, we absolutely pegged it <laughs> over this little bit, which is very narrow, as you can see. Please be careful. <laughs> so scary. And yeah, we awaited them coming around this corner and this is what happened. As the pod was getting closer to us, we could see that they were going to hug the coastline. So we got as far down as we could, as close as we could, which happens to be this little bit here. <laughs> I was perched onto it. And yeah, we could see them coming all under the surface, all along here, into this little bit. And they sort of turned around there, went up there. And there were so many of them, there's seven in the pod. So every time one went past, you turned back around and there was another two coming at you doing the exact same thing. Nick, that's amazing! Oh, wow! No way! 
way. That's literally incredible. <laughs> the big bully's coming as well. One here, one here. Here. There he is. There you go. Oh. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, big boy. <laughs> right here, below us. Wow. Another one. It's too many to choose from. <laughs> St. Minion's our favourite place. Since Definitely. Right there. Is that one a okay, cave rolling? I think so. Instead of trying to follow them the whole way around the aisle, which would have took us forever and we're not fit enough for that. So we decided to cut straight across and try and get on this side still, on the headland, but on the opposite side of the bay. So we made our way over there and this is what happened there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tripping up with excitement. <laughs> I know we keep saying this, but I think we might have outdone ourselves again. We yeah. thought Lunning would take some beating, but we've literally just had the 27s pod right in at St. Ninian's again, like where we saw Ball 18. Yeah. <laughs> and they were literally below us. Like right below us, swimming through the kelp. You could see their entire body. Yeah. That We're going to try and get them at the other bay now. Yes. And see if we can get them going round. Yeah. But yeah, that was incredible. They were, it was as if we was looking from a drone. They were like literally below us. Yeah. About <laughs> maybe five metres below us. Yeah, but even better because we got on <laughs> land and they yeah. came to us because they wanted to. So yeah, <laughs> maybe definitely. even better. So oh, yeah. incredible. Hopefully we can catch them again in a minute. I hope so. <laughs>
Well, that was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best. <laughs> it really, really was. Now, we managed... Oh, a bit windy. Um, we managed to see them again as they came around the north side of St Ninian's. We've seen them on both sides of the bay and at St Ninian's, which yeah. is just incredible. Yeah, I mean, look at that. <laughs> if you can see it on here, but... <laughs> Amazing. We're just so pleased. And yeah, it couldn't have gone any better from when seeing them in the very, very far distant um, at Quendale earlier. I thought we weren't going to see them yeah, we've properly. We've had like a full day of watching Orca, haven't we? Yeah, we have. <laughs> well, from seeing the dolphins this morning yeah. in Aethbo, and then yeah, <laughs> it's been amazing. <laughs> we we thought Lunning would never get beaten, but yeah, I think that well, it's <laughs> definitely up there with it. It really is. Saint Ninian's one of the most stunning places. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. Right <laughs> I can't see anything, my hair's in the way. So we're currently walking up to where the 27s were feeding on the north side of the St Ninian's Isle. Really, really close to land. <laughs> really close to the shore. Really if we close. If turn it around you'll see these rocks or what you could just see in the footage. And they were right there off the rocks. So cool. We were standing over on the island over that side and then yeah, they were just off these rocks here, which is pretty cool. Nick's climbing up the rocks where the orca were just over the other side of this and they made a number of seal kills, which is sad, but um, yeah, it just proves how close they were to the shore. They were literally just over from where Nick is there. So cool. This is literally where they were, just there. It would have been pretty cool seeing them off these rocks. It would have. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but I think we had a pretty good view over on the aisle anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't have changed it. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> we were so happy that we saw the orca on both sides of St Ninian's. <laughs> so we saw them on the north side and the south side as well. South side. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty cool. We managed to tie it quite well. We got over that side just as they were coming into the north side. So yeah, we we're really, really pleased to see them again. So thank you for watching our film and remember to like if you liked it <laughs> and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more films going out. Because yeah. little did we know after this encounter, we were going to see the, this exact same pod again, the 27s, in a few days time. Yeah. So make sure you stay tuned for next time and see where we end up with this pod again. <laughs> And it was a really epic encounter, so it's worth keeping an eye on what we get up to. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback 
You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go, I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb And I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless